St. John, the sixth chapter, verse 52. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I said to you, except he eat the flesh of a son of man and drink his blood, he have no life in you. Whosoever eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eat my flesh and drink my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. As the living Father have sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me even shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your father did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. These things spake, said he in a synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many therefore of the disciples, when they heard this, they said, this is a hard saying, who can hear it? Glory to God. When Jesus, verse 61, when Jesus knew himself, the disciples murmured at it. He said unto them, does this offend you? What? And if he shall see the son of man ascend up into heaven where he was before, it is, it is a spirit that quicken it. The flesh profit nothing. The word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But there are some, listen what Jesus said, but there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believe not and who shall betray him. He said, therefore, said I unto you, that no man can come unto me except it was given unto him of my father. From verse 66, the sad verse in the Bible. From that time, many of his disciples, his students, went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto twelve, will he go away? Then Simon Peter Answer him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou has the word of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus answered them, have not I chosen you twelve and one of you is the devil. He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of of Simon, for he it was that that should betray him, being one of them. But I want to go on for verse 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 forty three. Verse forty three say, Jesus therefore said un, unto them, Murmur not among yourself. Verse forty four. No man can come unto me except the Father, which sent me, draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophet. So Jesus Christ is going back. Hey, glory to God. He's going back now. He's going back to the Old Testament. And they, they shall be taught of God. Every man, therefore, that have heard and have learned of the Father cometh unto me. Verse 45 of St. John, the sixth chapter. It is written in the prophet that they shall be taught of God. Every man, therefore, that have heard have learned of the Father, come it unto me. Verse 46. Not that any man have seen the Father, save he which is of God. He have seen the Father. Verse 47. Verily, verily, I said, ver truly, truly, I say unto you, he that believeth on me have everlasting life. So if you don't believe, you don't have everlasting life. And one of the favorite scriptures that I love to quote is Mark 16, verse 16. He that believeth and baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. So Jesus Christ said, Truly, truly, I say unto you, he that believeth on me 
have everlasting life. So the Bible say, my friend, if you believe, you're going to have eternal life. The Bible say, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. The Bible say, my verse 14, as Moses lived a serpent in the wilderness, even so shall a son of man be lifted up, that whosoever believe on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So the danger of not understanding, not hearing, not believing the word of God. And that's part five, my friend. And I hope you're enjoying my other parts because I want you to know the importance of believing the word of God. Because if you don't believe the word of God, my friend, you're going to be damned. If you don't believe the word of God, my friend, you're in danger of eternal damnation. But God wants you to understand the word of God. Because if you don't understand the word of God, you'll be in danger of being corrupted by the devil because the devil's job is to corrupt you. The devil's job is to damn you. The devil's job is to deceive you. And the devil's job is to make you go into the, into the, the ditch. So my job as being a preacher is to reach you with the word of God because the word of God is here to reach you and to teach you and to get you out of corruption. God have, have told me, my friend, I got to I got to prepare the people of God for revelation of reaching you because it's God's like Buck. Hey man, got another gospel. He's like Jim Jones. He here to corrupt you. If you don't understand the word of God because you don't have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is your guide. The Holy Spirit is God. And the Holy Spirit, not just that goodies are speaking in tongues and pro no, my friend, the Holy Ghost is to lead you and guide you into all truth. That's the purpose of having the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is here to guide you. The Holy Ghost is the prophet within you. And the Holy Ghost is your unction, it's your anointing, so you won't be deceived by guys like Buck. TikTok and YouTube is full of false prophets, false teachers. These guys are for the cash and not for Christ. And it's time for you to hear the word of God because God is here. And you showing disrespect by you having a Lord G. And that's, a, that's, just, that's being disrespectful. God is a capital G. And, and I'm, I'm finished, my friend. Jesus Christ saying, I am the bread of life. What? Jesus Christ said, if you're hungry, eat me. Not literally physically eating him, but by you digesting. The Bible say, blessed are, the, are they the hunger and thirst of the righteous, for I will fill you. Verse 49, your father did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. Those, the, those followers of Jesus Christ was in the wilderness and they died because they were complainers. They wasn't blessers. 50. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and die. Jesus Christ is the living bread. 51. And I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any may eat of the bread, he shall live forever. Jesus Christ is the living bread. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Jesus Christ died on Calvary. The purpose, Jesus Christ died on Calvary, that you may have life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So I hope you enjoyed the series of hearing and understanding the word of God. God don't want you to be a hearer. But God wants to be a doer. A doer is a person that understands the word of God. Hallelujah. A lot of people getting tattoos and piercing. A lot of people doing things out of the will of God. Why? Because they don't understand the word of God. We got to understand the word of God. Because the devil is out to snatch the word of God from him. Because you don't have the Holy Ghost. If you have the Holy Ghost, you will understand 
the word of God. God bless.